Welcome to WMNF 88.5 FM and WMNF.org. You're listening to the Tuesday Cafe with Sean Canan. And I'd like to thank everyone who donated to WMNF during our recently completed winter membership drive. We did come up short, so we're still looking for your contributions. You can go to WMNF.org slash donate, and you can select the show you'd like to support from the drop down menu. Thank you in advance. Well, we've got a special show lined up for today. Later on in the show, we're going to hear debate in Tallahassee about a bill to ban most abortions in Florida after 15 weeks of pregnancy. It's heading to a vote by the full state Senate. This bill passed this final committee stop yesterday. In addition, today, the full state House of Representatives is expected to vote on a bill that critics call Don't Say Gay. It has the potential to censor discussions about sexuality and gender in public school classrooms. Today, there'll be a debate in Tallahassee over what Republicans call the parental rights bill. But first up, it's my pleasure to introduce to the WMNF family, our new general manager, Randy Zimmerman. Welcome to Tuesday Cafe, Randy. So delighted to be here, Sean. Thanks so much. I'm really glad you were able to come on. So first, uh, I guess I should say you've, this, you're not new to WMNF. Remind people no. of your history with the station. So I came here in 1998 uh, as a headlines person, invited by Nell Abram, who, who was also in the newsroom and had a, a morning show. Uh, we met at USF in our environmental studies class and uh, had a little bit of debate about uh, rent stabilization, whether or not that was a, a good thing. And met after class, told her that I had some background in advertising public relations and said, you need to come to our radio station. And that's kind of all she wrote. Started off in the newsroom, started volunteering, started producing stuff, was offered a show, did uh, One Step Forward, uh, which was a long form uh, production and interview show. And just did a whole lot of stuff around the building, both in the small house and then eventually in this building. And you were also involved in a network called Free Speech Radio News. Tell people about that and and what happened to FSRN. So we were very close to Pacifica and the Pacifica Foundation, the Pacifica Network, and uh, their reporters went on strike uh, because they were being silenced. And uh, a group of reporters started up their own show, Free Speech Radio News, to counter the Pacifica Evening News, which they felt was blocking out really important stories. And uh, it was weekly for a while, and I wound up meeting the producer at uh, a grassroots radio conference and said, when you're ready to go daily, let me know. I'm very interested in being your headlines editor. And that's what happened. I became their first headlines editor uh, for this strike reporter uh, newscast, which started off as 18, 20 reporters uh, from the Pacifica Network. And it was grown because it became a worker-run collective, Uh, first international collective of reporter-run syndicated news show, half hour, Monday through Friday. And I think we had over 200, 250 reporters on every continent but Antarctica. Um, And uh, yeah, it was just fabulous people. It's, you know, it's interesting because when I did that show, I said, this is the job of my life. And now I'm here and I feel like, no, this is kind of the job of my life. So what made you get interested in becoming the general manager of WMNF? You know, I tell people I, after the last general manager left, I looked at the job description because I was thinking about joining the hiring committee and I read through it and I said, hey, I can do that. And that was the beginnings of that thought. It wasn't an idea that I wanted to be general manager of WMNF. I want to remind people that we're speaking with WMNF's new general manager, Randy Zimmerman. This is the Tuesday Cafe on 88.5 FM. I'm Sean Canan, and you mentioned Pacifica and, and reporting for Pacifica. Pretty much everyone who's involved in Pacifica will eventually find their way to Amy Goodman. What's your connection with Amy Goodman? I've met Amy. I know Amy. When Amy did talks here uh, in Florida, I got to pick her up at the uh, airport and uh, joke with her a little bit about uh, cars and (laughs) gas. And uh, then she was very generous and gave me a one-on-one interview for One Step Forward, my show, Uh, and then met up with her at the the firehouse. She challenged me to go down the pole, which I don't think I was brave enough to do. But uh, I did know her staff and many of them, there was a lot of crossover with her staff and FSRN reporters, John Hamilton, uh, Shannon Young, who then eventually became one of the other major producers at Free Speech Radio News. So there's a lot of crossover within the community radio, grassroots radio, democracy now world. 
We're speaking with Randy Zimmerman, the new general manager of WMNF. You left the area for a while. I did. And I mean, you're back now, of course, but when you were gone, what were you doing? Well, in 2005, I got a fellowship to become a teacher in New York City, uh, working for Title I schools. I'm a science dork kind of by nature and uh, love all things science and technical. And uh, so I was a science teacher up in New York for a while. And then I was recruited uh, by one of my professors to be a teacher of teachers and to be adjunct faculty at Brooklyn College and then College of Staten Island. Um, and uh, then was inspired by a colleague um, to apply for my Ph.D. program. Uh, she um, is a well, they have something called the DRK program run through the National Science Foundation. And it pairs up PhDs with classroom teachers. So students, especially in Title I schools, which are basically schools that have low socioeconomic statuses for a variety of reasons. Uh, so students in SES schools can see what real scientists do. And in most cases, they're also scientists of, uh, of color. Uh, the woman that I worked with was a Latina woman. And we developed a class called um, Science Research Methods. Uh, where my kids were learning about classic science research methods, but through development of apps, because her specialty, she was getting her PhD in computer science. So it was a lot of creative collaboration, working with students who were clearly college bound, but also just didn't have many of the skills that a lot of other college bound students have. So um, it was a lot of innovation. And then when I moved into my PhD program, um, also very interested in the concept of knowledge and our knowledge creation, especially around science, and uh, work with a research group that is committed to what we call epistemic justice, or attending to the things that one would not think normally is good thinking. So lots of kids are told they're bad thinkers, or they're stupid, or they get graded on scales, because the way they think and reason about science isn't bad, it's just different and um, because they have a different basis of understanding the same stuff that you and I understand, just not the same vocabulary. Well, what made you come back to Florida? Oh, <laughs> uh, I, I joke and I tell people snow in taxes. I was just <laughs> I was really tired of shoveling the driveway and my front steps to come down the stairs. Uh, and family is here. Friends are here. Uh, the timing of, of things just worked out where we needed to make a change. Um, and it just seemed right to come home as opposed to finding another location. I want to remind people that our, we're speaking with Randy Zimmerman, who is WMNF's new general manager. Her first day was yesterday. So I'm really glad she could come on and just let the community get to know you a little bit uh, as, they, as they'll get to know you over the next months or years, I hope. Yes. Speaking of which, so er, I have to say, that I've done this interview, a similar interview, several times over the last year. A, a new GM comes in, I interview that person. Um, in the past, they've usually been males. They, they have been all males, the ones I've interviewed. And, and then it happens again a couple of years later. What's going on and, and are we, am, I, am I gonna have to interview a new GM in a couple of years? Well, the short answer is I don't plan on leaving and I don't plan on doing anything that will get me fired. That's the short answer. The long answer is also I discuss with uh, people. I, I don't know if it has anything to do with being male. I don't know if it has anything to do with, you know, me being, you know, a woman. I don't, I don't know. But I describe that um, if you're inside the Tampa Bay area, you love it or you hate it or whatever. But um, outside the Tampa Bay area, it's somewhere between like paradise and the Hotel California. <laughs> And it's just really hard for people who don't know the area, who are not familiar with our community, um, to kind of make things work. And I, I don't know the ins and outs of what happened in the past, but I know that this is a community that I love, that I have adapted to, that I, I understand even the different neighborhoods within the different counties and how they're all different. And um, there's something beautiful and wonderful about each one of them. And I appreciated that on day one. We, we've talked about your news background, mm -hmm. but MNF is also about music. What kind of music do you like? So I'm a WMNF listener. I'm very eclectic. And it was kind of like you. Um, 
when we get an opportunity during vacations to fill in for other people and we get to stretch our wings and our musical wings and bring in things from a variety of shows as well as our own taste. Um, I, I love that. It was, I guess it was the early 2000s. Uh, I did a, a morning show and uh, I was filling in for someone else and kind of again, stretching my wings. And uh, I played a, a, a song and someone called up and said, that's it. I'm not listening to WMNF. You play rap click. And that, rapper was Michael Franti. Oh. And <laughs> right. So um I I you know I love the eclectic music both in the morning show, the afternoon drives. Uh, I love the Latin shows. As a matter of fact, I text my Latin friends on Wednesday nights and say, okay, time for Latin jazz and salsa now. Uh Dorm Rooms, one of my favorite shows on the air. Um I can list a variety of other shows that I just love to listen to on WMNF because again I'm just I'm one of those classic eclectic listeners. If anything, I can't listen to one song or one artist for more than like two songs. I just get too bored. Our guest is general manager of WMNF, Randy Zimmerman. And you told me yesterday, and I didn't, I, maybe I didn't know this before, or maybe I did, but you are part of a motorcycle group. I am. I joke around. <laughs> I'm in this very dorky motorcycle. They're not dorks. Actually, it's the oldest uh, women's motorcycle club in New York. It's the New York Sirens. Uh, and yes, I am a card carrying, color wearing. If I'm out on the road in my motorcycle, I've got my colors on on my vest. Uh, super, super amazing group of women who are lawyers and doctors and people who build sculptures for theater and Broadway and amazing women. But I'm a person who believes in service work. So even though this got this great passion for riding my motorcycle and hanging out with others who ride their motorcycle. The New York Sirens, in addition to leading Pride Parade every year since, you know, for like 35 years, almost 38 years, um, they also do service work. So they do um, runs where they collect money and give to health centers, uh, women's centers. Uh, every summer, uh, volunteer to give rides to uh, Orthodox Jewish girls who also have a variety of disabilities because they can't be in contact with men. Uh, and every year they scream. It's like, ah, the motorcycles are coming, the motorcycles are coming. And the other thing that we do, which was featured on CNN, is deliver breast milk to premature babies. And it's not just, um, the milk bank isn't just for wealthy women in New York City. They can also, uh, uh, women can purchase the breast milk through a variety of other social services. Um, and deliver breast milk through New York City on the backs of motorcycles, getting it to premature children all over because it's, um, it's perishable. So it has to be delivered fast and you need something that can weave in and out of traffic and motorcycles are perfect for that. Our guest is Randy Zimmerman, the new general manager of WMNF. And you're listening to Tuesday Cafe. I'm Sean Canaan on 88.5 FM. It's 1019 in the morning. And Randy, until last September, we had gone a while, a year and a half or so, without having any WMNF events. And that was hard for a lot of us because it's such a great social time. Oh, yeah. It's, it's great entertainment. Mm -hmm. And then fortunately, in the last few months, there's been kind of an explosion of really, really great music events that we've had. Isn't it special? It's, it's been awesome. And we're not stopping. No, I was, I was uh, uh, in addition to the music events, I was at You Get Out, which was great fun. Saw and hung out with you there, which was terrific. Yep. Um, and we're going to other events, like we were at Sanding Ovations, which I went to. And this weekend, we're going to be at Gasparilla. And I'm going to be there as well on Friday and Saturday. And I just think it's also amazing that people who can't go, there are a number of shows we're going to be able to record live on air. And uh, if you can't go to Gasparilla and you, and you want to hear some of it, it'll be here on WMNF.org or 88.5 FM. Uh, just yeah, steeped in the music scene here in, in uh, the Tampa Bay area, not just in Tampa, but also in St. Pete, which is really awesome. I, was, I met with the events committee yesterday, and the, the schedule for this year is so full and so rich and hitting a variety of different communities, uh, the Americana community, African-American, Caribbean Cruise is coming up March 19th at Skipper's Smokehouse. So really wonderful things happening. We also have a tribute to Prince coming up at New yes, World Brewery. That's right. I forget the date, but it's it's on our website, WMNF.org. Uh, I should say that um, it, it's kind of interesting because just a few months ago, Randy was 
inter- was helping me with interns in the newsroom. Yeah. She was a volunteer in the newsroom and, and now she's my boss. And so <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's, we're a it's, team, Sean, yeah. we're a team. <laughs> so it's, it's really great. I'm glad you're with us here. Thank you so much. I don't much. know if there's anything so else that you'd like to say to people before I let you go and move on to Tallahassee. No, but uh, thank you so much. And there will be more open meetings. We're going to be scheduling them. So if folks want to have more, more questions or hear more about what I have to say, keep looking at WMNF.org to see when some of those meetings are going to be. There'll be at least two, one during the week and one on the weekend to give uh, as many people as possible an opportunity to ask questions and, and meet with me. Good. Open meetings are great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on Thanks WMNF's so Tuesday asking, Cafe. Sean. Thanks so much, Randy. Randy Zimmerman is WMNF's new general manager.